All right, picked up some new wheels for the Z. Um, I'm running, I think, kind of a weird setup. I want to run a square setup, something small, so I can run like a two, like a 255 rear tire, maybe like a 265. I don't think I'm needing that much grip, but so I want to run like a square setup. That way, all the wheels can go either way. More on the spacer in the back. That way, I can get good fitment front and rear, but I don't have to run like a 10 inch wide wheel or something insane like that. So. I think this is going to work out pretty good. I already got one of the boxes open. So I'll let you guys get your first peek at what we got. Just like not like shoes, whatever. I don't even care. Like give me some flip-flops, bro. But when it comes to wheels, there's nothing better than open up like new wheels. Awesome. Woo! So nice already. I can tell. Can't mess my sticker up. It's kind of like a Funky red. Cut this guy down there. All right, so we're gonna get the first look together. I haven't even seen these yet. All right. Nice little protector. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sweet. Like I said, this is more my style. Then like this, and like I said, with these being a little messed up, and like I said, I'm already rubbing like crazy. I'll show you that in a second once we get the car jacked up and get the wheel off. So we're gonna test fit the wheels first. Once I make sure they're actually gonna work on the car and they're gonna clear everything, we'll throw the wheels and the tires I got, go get them mounted and actually get to see them on the car. So give me one second, let me get this thing up in there and get the front wheel off so I can make sure it's gonna fit and work the way I want on the front. All right, so we got one wheel out of the box and we got it mounted to the car. I was really worried about the front brake caliper, um, but like I said, I saw some guys that were running these wheels on like 370s and stuff like that, so I assumed that they would clear. But um, don't look too bad. Check her out. Definitely a better color combo than what, <laughs> than what I did have. Um, so far, the wheel, it looks like it's doing pretty good. Like I said, I still might rub in the back, but really the one I'm worried about is like right up here. Um, for the brake line holder uh, So I think I'm gonna end up doing is uh, Cutting this off. I think I'm gonna cut this off and move it inboard Just get like one that I can like just drill into place. Just you know Maybe like drill a hole and put some rib nuts or something Because uh, I really don't want this eating up on my uh, my new wheel so But like, maybe once I get this is you know get this thing like aligned and everything It'll push, which I hope it don't push it out. I really, because I mean, they are like right there. I'll show you guys. They are like right there at the limit. <laughs> They're past the lip. So uh, I don't hate like drift cars have like the front poking out and stuff like that. Um, and you'd be surprised. Like I'm more, I'm going to show you this real quick. I'm more irritated by my ender fender getting chewed up than I am the front bumper. The front bumper is already jacked up anyway. It's like one that I pulled off a crash car that I like, pieced together and glued back together to make it work but this irritates me look at that so apparently when i hit the little barrier it knocked the inner fender out and it was rubbing on the tire and i didn't notice that when i stopped so that irritates me but like these are like those ones i showed you on the video when i done this they're like 13 bucks through summit racing so i definitely put in an order for a new driver side uh that's crazy that uh you know it is what it is i can stick my hand in there and fix my uh my little light because it knocked it out too so like i said not really like i said it kind of sucks because it did look good from a distance but you know i probably just buff out what i can and you know screw what i can't so it is what it is <laughs> like I said, it's a drift car but the wheels look pretty good i really happy that I'm gonna sit this on a board and like sit it down and like get some weight on it so I can see exactly where it is and I'll show you guys that in a second and then we'll test fit one in the rear and then I'll put the spacers on there that I'm gonna run and um, we'll take and get some tires mounted on these things I actually ordered some uh, some different wheel lugs from and uh, center caps and valve stems and all that good stuff which that stuff should maybe that's gonna be a different package yeah but I'm gonna get that stuff done. We'll get some tires mounted and we'll sit this thing on the ground, which I'm looking forward to. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like with weight on it.
All right, so I got some weight. It's not as bad as I thought, but I got some weight. Like, I hate doing this, but, like, I got a little piece of chunk of wood under the wheel. And I really don't like doing that. I don't think it's going to hurt anything, but still, it's just kind of one of those things. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. But I think we're going to be okay. Besides, I believe it's definitely going to still rub on that, the brake line holder. But I'm okay with cutting that. So <laughs> that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to, like, hack that thing off. And like I said, just move it inboard and just say, screw it. Just give it a little... I don't forget what they call them, but like just the little line holders, whatever, little worm or little metal clips, whatever. Can't even talk right now, but I'm excited. The wheels look off. <laughs> Probably just get one of those, move it to the center, you know, put a little self tapper right there. Um, I say self tapper, but I'll probably just drill it, put a rib nut in it, because I'm weird. That's just me. A little extra effort will make it look way cooler and nicer. Probably gonna do that, but other than that, I think it's pretty good and this is with like i said the fdf angle kit um so things can work out pretty good but i'll show you guys real quick <laughs> check her out so i'm okay with the color combo that's cool i like that and like i said i got red lugs and the valve stem and everything and like just the center cap that actually you know i think it's like chrome maybe so you just basically you can see the brand and the wheel fitment you can see it's not too bad so we're kind of we're kind of heading in the right direction but this is what i want I'm probably gonna raise my carp a little bit because it is like rubbing really really bad right here i can show you guys like on this on this side you can just see like the rubber is getting <laughs> from the front tire rubbing that's how bad it's rubbing i know it's not gonna stay perfect i'm just trying to keep it looking decent all right, so I'm confident with keeping them. Like I said, I wanted to do this before I mounted tires and stuff because that's definitely when you don't want to find fitment issues. <laughs> so got the front mocked up. I think they're going to work just fine, like I said. So I'm going to go ahead and put my old wheel back on. We'll jack up the back, throw one on the back. I'm going to put one of those spacers on that I got, find the right spacer, and we'll go from there. But so far, so good. <laughs> okay. I got the back one on. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't think I could have guessed better if I actually done some research. Started out with a 20 mil spacer. Dude, they're like, it's money. Front and back, they line up perfect. They're just a little bit past the fender line, which I didn't really didn't want, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, to have angle, that's what you got. It's just the way it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but check it out. That's what I'm talking about, son. Look at that thing. So you can look down right there and you can kind of just barely see the wheel sticking out uh, so i'm not a fan of that but it is what it is it's, it's gonna be all right but even the wheels that are on the car with no spacer you can see it's sticking out i mean that's the that's the face of the wheel right there so and i haven't taken the car for like a proper alignment yet either so those are just like camber arms that are on there and i kind of just eyeballed it up so it could get worse it could get better but i think it's going to be because my tread wear at the track was pretty good so I think I'm like really close or right there at where I want to be. Um, so things work out. I'm probably going to order another like four more wheels. That way I don't have to like go through the headache of like, you know, mounting tires at the track. I just want to show up wheels, tires mounted, ready to roll. So it's, it's funner that way because you can pull off track, throw another set on and go right back out. You don't have to like wait. And if you have like... So like I said, if you have four more, if you have four spares, you know, if you burn off one, throw another fresh set on there, by the time you get to your last tire, they've already got your other one mounted. You're ready to go. So if you're driving that much at one day, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> so I think, like I said, I think like at Lanier, a drift fan is only like four hours or something. So plenty enough tire, I think. I'm also curious to see like how a factory wheel will fit on there with that spacer. So probably like fairly decent fitment so i could run like factory wheels in the back too and it wouldn't look like god awful you know just like retarded i'll show you another car <laughs> like this this is a factory wheel with no spacer so that 20 mil spacer right there it's probably going to be pretty good so that's pretty cool so that's another cool thing about this setup running a square setup like this um and if i didn't tell you guys or i'll put it in the description and stuff too but these are a uh, 18 by 9 12 plus 12 so front and rear that's what i'm gonna <laughs> like i said i think that will keep me from getting like crazy poke on the front 
and that will give me like where I can have like a good square because I can't run like this is a, a 350z you know makes like 300 wheel horsepower I can't run like a a 275 285 that's just too big so I want to run like a 255 front and rear I can run 245 it wouldn't look goofy 265 it's to be okay so I think this is where I want to be <laughs> so it'll give it that you know professional drift car look you know like you know square you know meaty sidewall and stuff like that I'll get plenty of good you know I think that's the thing you know sidewall grip so like having a stretch tire it's supposed to not be as good so it is what it is I don't really know I just know it's gonna look good like this <laughs> probably will have to raise the car up a little bit though I think um, enough for me rambling I'm gonna go ahead and I still have to wait for the uh, the valve stems and all, other, all the other stuff to come in so as soon as that stuff comes in I'll resume the video we'll throw these wheels and tires that I have in the truck go get them mounted we'll fit them on the car and then I'll show you guys the way the car looks the stance and all that kind of stuff and we'll go from there we'll find some place to like slide around or something on the street so not on the street you know what I'm saying <laughs> but all right guys like I said as soon as that stuff comes in we'll get them mounted up and I'll show you guys what they look like all right guys i'm uh getting ready to put the wheels and tires and everything on the 350z i want to show you real quick what i did for that brake line it's not as clean as i would like it to be but i think it's going to work i'm pretty sure if you were just widen the track on the car a little bit <clears throat> this wouldn't be an issue but like i said i want this to kind of look like a stock 350z you know i don't want it to have like the poke and everything but I basically i just cut the uh just cut the factory brake line bracket and the abs you know wire bracket off and um I think they're going to be out of the way, but I'll show you real quick. So it's getting dark, so I just want to go ahead and show you this. Um, basically, that's those little clamps I was talking about. I just put a uh, self-driller. Like I said I would love to use a, uh, a rib nut and make it look a little cleaner than that, but, you know, it is what it is. It's out of the way. Um, it may cut my uh, ABS wire right here, but you can see the witness mark where the tire is rubbing. So... I think I'm gonna be okay. I don't think it's gonna get into it, but that bracket stuck way out. You know, it was like, let me show you. Um, you know, like it hangs off the freaking, the car a good bit. I mean, you can see how, well, that's probably like, what about an inch? So that's what was getting into the wheel and I don't want that to like nick and scratch up my brand new wheels. So I think this is a pretty good solution for it. And it also moved it, moved the brake line out of the way so it wasn't like hitting on the sway bar, which is why I wrapped it right here like this just in case it did rub so i think it's gonna be pretty good and i got like this little edger and some white paint and i'm just gonna touch that bad boy up right there so it won't rust so i'm not too worried about this spot over here because the tire is going to rub it and keep it from rusting so it is what it is but i guess like i said it's um it's already getting late so I'm pretty sure i'll get the other side knocked out and like i said i'll get you um i got actually have to go pick the other the rear wheels up um, I didn't have time to get the tires to them so they could mount them. So they'll mount those tomorrow and the car will be back on the ground and done. And I figured out like what was wrong with my headlight. I just don't think the headlight was like clipped in. So clipped it in, hoping that's going to fix that. And she should be ready for another drift event. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get this knocked out and I'll show you guys the way the car looks with the wheels and everything on the ground ready to go. All right, guys, I'm out driving 350Z around. Feels awesome with the new setup. I'm going to show you guys the uh, the tires. Like I said, I just got everything mounted up. It's looking pretty good. Check her out. But not too bad. I would say it's a little bit too small of a tire in the back. Not like, you know, width, just height. That's a, I'm running a 255, 35, 18 all the way around. So I'm running a square setup. Pretty sure I've already mentioned it before, but the wheels themselves are uh, 18 by 9 plus 12. Front and rear. Like I said, I had that 20 mil spacer in the back to get me a decent fitment. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could probably go with like a 15 mil spacer, which I probably will need to because if I run like a 265 on the back uh, or maybe like a 255-40, it's probably going to be too, it might rub. Even though I have like that monster truck ride height. But like I said, this is a drift car, not like a little stance car or anything like that. So. I just want a square setup that way like if i scrub the the front tires and the camber starts wearing on the inside i can just throw them in the back burn them off and i won't be wasting you know that much tire so 
Did you guys? I stopped when I when I got the tires put on. I went and sprayed the car off. It, it's not too bad. Like, see, it cleaned up pretty good. Um, as you can see, the damage on the front bumper from the drift vent. It's not too bad. Like, see, it just it busted the paint all right through here. Which, like, I was saying that, and just you know, airbrush the paint back there, and that stuff right there, I think, will buff out. So, I'm not too worried about it. Like, I said, the bumper was already screwed up anyway. Like, I said, big crack right there. That whole corner was knocked off, so it's cracking right there. So, it is what it is. Drift car. So, and like this whole entire part where the, the bumpers, you know, mounts to was busted off. So. It's not too bad. Like I said, that's with the FDF angle kit, BC coilovers. That's a pretty good fitment, I think. Yeah, I don't know if I will actually go up in tire size. Like I said, I've slid on like 265s before. I feel like it's a bit much for this car, so I'm probably going to stay on 255, 35s. Um, I don't see me needing more grip. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of grip for that car. So, you know, I could go like a 265 and air up or something, but. I don't know. I think, I think it looks good. I think the fitment, and everything looks decent. So that's probably where I'm gonna stay. But I'm, I'm excited. So I'm ready for another drift event. Like I said, all I gotta do is just get. I want to take the car and get a good alignment on it instead of just like camber plates and me eyeing it up in my yard. So once I do that, I think I'm gonna hit another drift event. So it's kind of cool because like the tires don't rub, you know, because of the angle kit and stuff. They don't rub on the inside of the car now. So got a little bit more angle, I would guess. But yeah, I'm excited, man. That thing looks cool. So, but anyway, that's enough for me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you for watching.